And here we are, day 11 of 11. So who did you sleep with last night? Allow me to rephrase. Who and what did you sleep with last night? Was it a watch, a cat, a dog? Uh, were they on your bed? Did you sleep with a memory foam mattress? Well, I slept with nine gadgets. Here, I'll count them, see? Nine. And that is eight too many. <laughs> uh, one was the Phoenix 7X. That was on my left wrist. It has been replaced by the Garmin Venue 2 Plus because it's just more comfortable to wear. And number two was the Oura Ring Slate. That was on my left index finger. And then the Polar Grit X. That was around my ankle. I won't show you, just trust me. Uh, number four, Fitbit Charge 4. That was my right wrist, still is, next to the Amazon Halo View. And then also the Oura Ring Silver, and that's for third generation. And then finally, the Oura Ring second generation. Oh wait, and then there was also the Apple Watch right here, which is also around my ankle. And then around my waist, number nine, was the Garmin Venue Plus. You know, I'll just show you. I have the wireless mic, so why not? So there's, there's the Polar Grit. And then right there, the Apple Watch. So what do all those gadgets have in common? They track your health, but there is a fun factor, and that's the focus of today. We've been going through all the data for the last 10 days and 10 nights, and now it's time to have a little fun. Why would you want to wear just any of these. Just pick one and just think for a minute. Why would you want a smart ring? And why would you want to wear either a ring or a watch to bed? I mean, is it at all fun? And is my audio recording? Yep, it's recording. Whew. You know, you know the, the screen time's out. I'll have to check on that, see if there's a setting. And what's the gain? Negative 24, we'll try negative 21. We're outdoors. Negative 18. Hopefully that's better. I find out in editing. So, and at the end of my video, I'll tell you my favorite two gadgets. I couldn't narrow it down <laughs> to just one. I had to narrow it down to two. I mean, hypothetically, it's really three. Okay. <laughs> I'll narrow it down to three, not, not two, because it has to do with all wearables. Yeah, pretty much, for the most part. I mean, really, it's four. Oh, man. Yeah. No, I... Yeah, I do have a top one. I do have a top one. So, fun factor. Probably the funnest watch to wear was the Galaxy... No, hang on. Sorry. The Garmin Vivo Active 4 Darth Vader Edition. And in second place, Captain America. Every time you met your goals, you got this awesome animation and it was a Star Wars themed. Whereas Captain America, it was all Marvel themed and that was just fun. I hope you enjoyed that B-roll. So every time you climbed your stairs, you got this animation. Every time you filled up a glass of water, you got that animation. The hardest animation to capture, and I did actually capture it earlier this week on the Garmin Venue 2 Plus, was reaching the 150 minutes of uh, activity, of intensity minutes. 150 is harder than you think, especially when dealing with Garmin, because they can be really picky. All right, nine gadgets. What in the world was I thinking? These two are pretty, you know, I, I could probably do these six for two weeks, maybe a month, because they're so comfortable. I mean, the rings, you kind of forget about them. This one, I'll transfer from my thumb to my index finger, but all the others, they can be really... The, the Phoenix, you can get away with wearing that when it's just that. And wearing the Phoenix around your ankle, like I am with the Polar Grit and the Apple Watch, no can do. It's, it's just too heavy, and if you try to wrap around inside it, yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work with socks. This one is fun. Love the animations. Fitbit, great animations. It's fun, and I'll show you those in a minute. And the Halo, pretty much no animations, along with the One Plus that I tested earlier. Polar Grit has a pretty good one, which we'll get to soon. Oh, 
and I just got a notification from Aura. Activity progress, you're halfway to your activity goal. Great progress. Funny enough, that only works with Android. If you've watched some of my other videos, I came to the conclusion that every accessory, watch, ring, headphones, even keyboards, a lot of peripherals that connect to computers and, f and smartphones always play a favorite. And right now for mobility, it's either Android or Apple. For example, Garmin doesn't like Apple so much. They really like Android. The Aura Ring, this little expensive piece of Finnish technology, this one favors Apple. I would say five to one. These notifications that I get, hey, you're halfway through, you don't get those on the Android phone. They just don't work. And then, yeah, it's just more fun to wear the Aura Ring when you have an iPhone. And that's just the truth. I've been testing the Aura Ring for the better part of seven months now, not consecutively, because I tested it in 2020, 2021, and now 22. Actually, I think it's closer to eight months. So I think after eight months, I'd be able to tell you whether or not, oh, I have an Aura Ring. Should I get one if I have an Android phone? The answer right now is no. I think the owner of Aura must have an Apple phone or maybe the head developer, and that's the reason, who knows. So some notes on the sleep whole thing of this. The best sleep tracker that you can get, if you don't wanna wear a smart ring, I would recommend Apple Watch. Apple Watch with auto sleep is fun. You get the coaching aspect, there's feedback. You know, I need to listen to the audio. I'm afraid that all these cars are just too, too loud.